Wow, look at that. Good morning. You joined me nice and early on a frosty morning here as I'm climbing up out of Malvern from the clock tower up onto the start of the Malvern Bridge. What a morning. Today I'm planning a long run over all summits of the Malvern Ridge line. It should be a good day out. Okay, I've made it up onto the top of the plateau here and now I can actually start the run properly. Got the moon behind me in the background, basically lighting the way. I'll use the head torch for the next few minutes, maybe half an hour until it comes up properly. Ground is nice and frozen. Let's get this run going. Wow. Just wow. Got the sun coming up on the side. And the moon lighting the way on this side. I'm nice and warm because there's hills and now we're going down and up the other one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at that. So the reason I wanted to come here today and do this particular ridge line is because the distance, which is around 20 miles, and the elevation, which is over 6,000 feet, replicates similarly that of the first quarter of the Lakeland 100. So what I want to do is run this today, see how it feels, and then compare it to the Lakeland 100 beginning section. And if it's comparable in any way, then I can use this as a training ground, doing it multiple times. Especially if I can't get to the Lake District to do as many recce as I want to. But I certainly plan on getting to the Lake District at least.
energy blocks so I'll be taking those on and we'll see how I feel when we get to the end all right let's head back nearly done now and I think next time I'll bring poles obviously I need to train with poles for Lakeland but today I knew I'd want to take some video and photos plus my poles don't collapse yet so I'll be back here I am last hill done I can certainly recommend coming to the Malvern Hills and doing the ridge line. 20 miles out and back, over six and a half thousand feet of just amazing views. <laughs> 